This is my grandfather, and that's my grandmother, and this is Uncle Charlie Gerald. And that's my father, Ben Gerald, right up there. I stayed with Granddaddy. See, I followed him around just like a little puppy dog, you know. I stayed with him more than ever I stayed with my daddy when I was growing up. Because daddy's always gone from home. Granddaddy's there working on the farm. He learned me how to work. And I mean, he is a hard master, too. He didn't never know when to sit down to rest. <laughs> we had enough to eat, as such as it was. It wasn't no fine stuff. It wasn't steak and ham much. And you could go squirrel hunting, rabbit hunting any time you wanted to. Along at this time of year, there's plenty of young rabbits, and you could step out here in case you kill you a mess of rabbits, you know. Fry them up, it's good, them young rabbits, too. I could, I could eat about a whole one right now if I had it. Skipping through the sand Look at that rabbit, he don't mind Fry him in my pan Lord, I'll fry him in my pan <laughs> And they want him to work at the sawmill that day And he wanted to work, but his tobacco needs sucker So he told me he'd give me two dollars If I'd suck his patch of tobacco Over our blow our old graveyard I went over there and I suckered long about four o'clock in the evening and I was kindly lazy and I was kindly tired. So I decided I'd lay down and take me a little nap. About time I got nearly asleep, I heard my little sister coming with a bucket of water, you know, Mom had sent me some water. Well, I got up and made out like I was a sucking, sucking tobacco, but I took my drink of water, she come on up and I suckered about two hills. I thought I'd lay back down again when she gets out of sight. And I was a sucker until she got out of sight and all at once right under my feet. Right under my feet uh, was a big old rattlesnake. I never had seen one. Under that hill of the back of that I was a sucker and it went to singing. And it was quiet and it had his head raised and the last I seen its mouth was coming at me but I jumped and run. That, that snake run me about 10 or 15 rows. It did. It was coming right after me. But I, my sister Heidi said I didn't run. I just raised up and flew. <laughs> That's what she said. She said she was going so fast I couldn't see her legs. Looked like she's just up a, a rolling like a wheel. But I guess I was. I never have been scared in my life. It makes me nervous to talk about it now. And I've not had good sense since. <laughs> This fiddle was in the Civil War, and right there is where a mini, a mini ball hit it. See that there patch place right there? That's the kind of piece of copper he had on there. And uh, I looked at it, and where he'd noted that fiddle, I could see every place where he'd noted and hit was just as bright as any new penny you ever saw. <laughs> 